Putin is a, a not a man who fully controls this situation. Mm. Uh, discussion about losing his monopoly for uh, of power was a long time ago, but now it became just more obvious. His enemies abroad frequently die, so does Prigozhin need to be very careful? We're going to speak now to Marina Litvinenko. She is, of course, the widow of Alexander Litvinenko, the former spy turned Kremlin critic who was poisoned here in London by Russian agents. Good morning to you, Marina. Good morning. Um... First of all, what did you make of what ha- what was happening o- o- over the weekend? Uh, first of all, it was a, a mixture of feeling when we received all this news about uh, Evgeny Prigozhin started his march to Moscow. First of all, uh, it was some kind of exciting moment because uh, we saw a lot of critics' direction to Putin. But from another side, uh, you obviously can't trust the Prigozhin because he, what he is doing, it's always for himself. It maybe uh, was just a show time to make uh, himself to be a little bit safe. After order, all private armies need to sign the contract to military office. Became is a difficult time for Yevgeny Prigozhin because he might be lost control of his private army. Mm. And this time he just decided to show he is a powerful and he could make a change. Mm. But I don't think he wanted to uh, come to Moscow and to bring uh, his power over Putin at all. So that's what you think his motivation was. But what do you think the effect is of chipping away at the armour of Vladimir Putin, who to many people, domestically and abroad, looks invincible, but but now does not? It was from very beginning uh, shows. It was not any united team under Putin's control. It was always a private army who tried to show they might fight much better than a regular army under a Shoigu. It was always criticized uh, army, regular army wasn't well prepared and people been sending to die without any proper training. They always blamed a military office not to supply with the right ammunition or weapons. It was just like a scandal supposed to be happened sooner or later. And uh, it just shows Putin is a, a not a man who fully controls this situation. Mm. Uh, discussion about losing his monopoly for uh, of power was a long time ago, but now it's became just more obvious. And uh, taking decision is a, not just a Putin's right. It means, or is a coalition, or is a group of people but it would still be somebody around Putin who might take a decision as well, not just the Putin himself. But Marina, what do you make of the arrangement then that was reached that um, there would be no um, comeback, there'd be no punishment, that he could, that his forces could just melt away and that he was going to go to, to Belarus? Um, what do you make of that deal? And actually, how safe do you think uh, Prigozhin is? Uh, Russia was always not the safest place. Putin, for all his uh, long term being in the power for 23 years, shows he doesn't want to change his uh, closet circle. He still have a people he might maybe not trust, but being depending through from each other. And uh, Prigozhin was one of them. And to lose him, I, I think it would be a bigger problem. Mary Prigozhin has also, also great support from somebody's uh, close Putin circle. Mm. And being in Belarus, we just don't know what was this uh, maneuver. And everything uh, what Prigozhin is doing is not exactly what he is doing now. Because he is uh, just 100% a liar. And uh, is he... A- 